Hi there and welcome to our house. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Here on this channel, we like to talk about homeschooling, the Robinson curriculum in particular, and books. And in this video, I'm actually participating in a homeschool collaboration where we're gonna go through, I think, some pretty frequently asked questions, concerns that parents have. So we're gonna talk about this in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, I would just like to say thank you to Ms. Sherry Hayes who invited me to participate in this collaboration and told me about it. If you don't follow her channel already, I highly recommend that you do. She has a great YouTube channel and a blog called Mom Delights. She is a mother of 15, so she has a lot of experience and she has created some really wonderful homeschool resource products, especially if you love using the McGuffey readers, you're gonna wanna check out some of her stuff. And also fun fact for those of you that use the Robinson curriculum and maybe you're um, not really thrilled with Saxon, you know, in the bonus materials, they have all of Ray's arithmetic. And in the bonus section, the first thing right under Ray's arithmetic is a guide written by her, Miss Sherry Hayes. So if you're interested in using Ray's arithmetic, but you're just really confused or overwhelmed, not sure how to use this resource exactly, she has written a great guide. And again, that's included in the RC bonus section. I will also leave a link in the description below of all the other participating videos for this collaboration. So I encourage you to check it out. All right, questions. Number one, how many kids are you homeschooling and how long have you homeschooled? Okay, so I have six children. Right now they are perfectly every two years, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, and 3. And so we've just homeschooled from the very beginning. You know, so that's what, about eight years? But really, I mean, you kind of start homeschooling, I think, um, as soon as they're walking and talking, right? Teaching them how to talk and their ABCs. So, you know, I don't know if you want to say 13 years or if you're starting more at the age five, eight years. So that's how long that we've been homeschooling. Number two, what was the defining moment when you knew you were going to homeschool? Uh, I think for me, I read a lot of the John Taylor Gatto books early on before my first was even school age. And I knew that I, I really wanted to homeschool. I think in the very early days, I thought I'm either going to send them to like a religious private school or homeschool. And we couldn't afford private school, so it was going to be homeschool, which I'm really glad. I'm really grateful that we went that route. So here's a tip if you're wondering, how do I get my spouse on board? You know, I didn't nag. I didn't push. All I did was just simply ask my husband what his public school experience was like and listen and there was a lot to say and we realized both of us I mean, he came to this realization that a lot more negative things came out of the schooling experience public school even private school a lot more negative than positive things you know there are things that are even scarring that you can never take back being introduced to things and this is even before you know, smartphones. I can't imagine how it is now. So just listening and asking him, just tell me about what your school experience was. Maybe it will be reassuring to me. Maybe you will convince me. And in the end, it just convinced him that you don't want that for your children. He did not want that for his children. So then we were on board to homeschool both of us. So as many of you already know on this channel, we use the Robinson curriculum. And while it is not really like a Christian curriculum. It does have Christian overtones because of the book list. A lot of the book list on there are from Christian writers, Christian perspective. Um, but I know a lot of secular families or other different religions that use the Robinson curriculum as well. I think a lot of people kind of adapt it and make it their own. Uh, so it's really, I think, customizable in that way. I try to just stick to it as closely as possible because I've learned time and time again that anytime I try to maybe add a little bit more, it just gets overwhelming and uh, stressful. So I just try to stick to the program as intended. Number four, what has been your greatest challenge homeschooling and how are you facing it or have overcome it? So again, this is a, something that I've talked about on this channel a lot and why I came to the Robinson curriculum is because I did have a time period in our schooling life career that I didn't want to do it anymore. I had gone through a stroke with my sixth pregnancy. I had an undiagnosed PFO that I didn't know about that caused the clot to go up to my brain. And there was possibilities of 
being on medication that I didn't want to be on lifelong or going through surgery, which later on, you know, last year I did choose the surgery route and everything has been great. But during that time of uncertainty and um, that pregnancy that was labeled high risk, that was then very diff different from my other pregnancies, uh, my world was just kind of upside down. And at that point, I had reached a really low point that I did not want to homeschool anymore. So how we got through it was, in fact, using the Robinson curriculum. And so the Robinson curriculum is really great for that because it's simple, it's just focusing on the three R's, but it's also independent. You don't really need a teacher. It's not dependent on any parent's uh, Ed educational background or circumstances, the child really takes care of their own education. They do math by themselves and um, they correct themselves. They do write and then you provide feedback and then they read for two hours from the book list. So that just really freed me up to be able to take care of all the doctor's appointments and research and what I was going to do and just giving me a time to just take a break. And we enjoyed it so much, you know, obviously that we just stayed using the Robinson curriculum. It was the perfect fit. So I am grateful that through that experience, I learned how to help other families going through similar health problems in homeschooling and that, you know, we really found our groove with the Robinson curriculum. Number five, what advice would you give someone considering homeschooling for the first time? Keep it simple, keep it very simple. I don't know if you know this, but as a woman, we change our minds a lot, a lot. And it's very rare to find a person, a mother homeschooling, who chose something maybe from the very beginning kindergarten and stuck with it all the way through high school. Um, if you talk to other homeschooling moms, you might notice that they've tried a lot of different things. These homeschool YouTube channels, most of them, you know, there are a lot of reviews of different things and their experience with different curriculums. So understand that you might change your mind. Things change. Nothing is permanent. Maybe something isn't working right now. It doesn't mean that it never will work out. If you have this goal or vision, I really wanted to do this and it's just not working out, you know, let it go. Maybe it come back to it later, but I wouldn't recommend spending a whole lot of money, especially don't spend a whole lot of money on kindergarten, first grade, second grade. You can teach your child their ABCs and shapes and counting and basic math facts. You don't need a very pricey curriculum. I understand that you're paying for convenience to have everything ready for you, but really there are so many wonderful resources online available for free that just with a tiny bit of effort on your part, you can save hundreds, hundreds of dollars. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Keep it simple. Don't overburden yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't kill the love of learning for your child, which I know sounds drastic, but it can happen if they're just not ready for it. They're still children. They, they still learn the most by playing and you're just forcing this uh, curriculum upon them. Um, keep it simple. Keep it basic. Don't invest a whole lot of money. And again, I recommend the Robinson curriculum because it's $199 for K through 12 for your whole family. So talk about affordable. You just have to supplement the math books, which you can find very cheap on abe.com or eBay, different resources like that. I've gotten the whole Saxon collection just from homeschooling resource centers or eBay or Abe books, thrift books. So Typically homeschooling families are on one income. And so that's challenging enough without adding this huge cost of curriculum for each child each year. So just be creative, maybe rent it. There's different renting websites that you can try or finding products from thrift stores, watching YouTube videos, reading reviews. I mean, you don't want to go crazy and overwhelm yourself, but just do a little bit of research of what do you think is going to work for you? Finding those materials at the lowest cost, possible and then trying it out and if things just really aren't working it's just frustrating for everybody maybe you need to reevaluate and try something else and again i'm going to plug the robinson curriculum because really it's it's something that i think could just fit anybody regardless of your work status regardless of your educational background how much time that you have you're just focusing on the three r's they're getting a really great education and it's very affordable. The price has not changed. And if you are curious about the Robinson curriculum, I know it's not very well known. I have a 13 part video playlist that you can watch it uh, for free here on YouTube and answers a lot of frequently asked questions. I think it just gives you a rundown how the program 
works. There's a lot out there. There is a lot out there. It's really easy to be overwhelmed. It's really easy to try to add as many things as possible. So I understand that. I just want to reassure you that the basics still work. Just focusing on reading, writing, and arithmetic, getting information through books. If you have a library card, um, access to the internet, there are lots of places to find classic, great literature for really cheap, A books. That's my favorite, my go-to place. So all of that, simplicity, books, great resources, writing every day, doing a math lesson every day, that works. That's a great education and it really takes the burden off of mom to be the teacher of all these different subjects every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you check out all the other responses from the other ladies participating in the collab. It's always, it's always interesting to hear other people's point of views with homeschooling because every family is different. And so maybe there are different families that you can identify better with. So make sure that you check it out. And I would like to know, please comment below, what piece of advice would you give someone who is considering homeschooling for the first time? Please comment that below. I'd love to hear your responses and I will see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.